I'm Sue. I'm Mark. And we are... Nuts on Top! With <laughs> a little one. With the one that's trying to escape. You're going to go? Yeah, she's, she's going. Right, there you go. Sorry, she just shoved me off the seat. She just shoved Sue off the seat. Oh. There you go. <laughs> Ow! Just head butted the dog. We'll probably Ooh. start this one Couldn't again. Couldn't write this if we tried. Well, we'll probably start Stand this still. one again now. Stand still, because you're going to make a noise. There's no carpet. There you go. At the end of the last trip, at the end of the last trip, we noticed that one of the catches that holds the doors for the through and through up had broken. So it's just stuck out there at a weird angle. And I thought, if anybody goes past a bit, carry on, <laughs> a bit close. So he's throwing his bones around now. Anyone goes past a bit close, they'll hit it and smash it and probably damage something else when they rip that off. So we bought new ones. So in this one, we change door clips, we change door retaining latches. Latches. Uh, I'll show you how we managed to shoehorn everything into the garage. Believe Wait, it or not. The garage has still got space. We've put the new, we've, we've still got the fridge freezer in there. We've still got the racking in there. We've still got all the other stuff we carry around. Only plus, that, is, that aren't plus in there are the bikes. The bikes, yes. But they don't, they're not required for the next. Well, we don't normally take the bikes if we go into a show. No. 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 So, uh, on with the... Bang, wallop, yeah, We've got the carpets out at the moment. So uh, Big Dog is playing with his... Uh, antler. Uh, yeah, it's not a bone, it's actually an antler. So he's playing with his chunk of antler. So he's being very noisy. Yeah, they're sharing the same one. Yes, yeah, so we've got one each, but they, they have to have the same one. On with the vid. vid. <laughs> Enjoy! The vid. <laughs> Ooh, Big Dog. Good morning. Today we have a little job, because when we came back from our last trip, turn the camera around, these are the catches that hold up the doors on the deaf lefts and I don't know if you can see but that's actually broken so it doesn't actually go up all the way it'll shear off completely so we have bought some more new ones so next job is take the old broken one off you can see it's broken there so it just hangs up there and doesn't stick down anymore so we'll take the old one off and fit the new one. Neat little, uh, my neat little screwdriver. Not brilliant, but powerful enough to get these off. That's the two screws off. And believe, yeah, this has been on for a while, so this is well stuck in place. Oh, yes. Might need a little help here. This one is, this one is broken, so it doesn't matter if I damage it getting it off, but there we go. Yes, yeah, so that's been glued on with mastic. So, uh, We'll clean this, clean this mastic off, and then uh, I'll get some more just to stick it on to prevent any water going in through the holes. Uh, there we have. That's cleaned all the gunk off the old one. And Now, in the old one they used a black one which uh, yeah I'm using this one a clear waterproof one so all I'm going to do I'm going to put the screws in first and then I'm just going to put a blob all the way down the back all the way up there there we go like that Put the two screws in like so and then the joys of the electric screwdriver line that up with that old 
and just start it and line that up with that hole and start it. Take them in as evenly as I can. bit of excess on top just wipe that off and then very carefully wipe down either side to take the excess off and the next time I Give Jenny a wash wax and polish I'll go around here and make sure there's plenty of polish on because obviously using the cleaner I've taken the layer of protective polish off so we'll touch that up again and there you go we've now got a new clip on well one down four left to go that one was broken but if I show you this if anyone knows this one's got it's got like black spots on it I've tried the cleaner the cleaners worked wonderfully with the surround of the toilet door and also the surround of the uh, of the garage door but uh, for some reason this one's got black spots on the uh, that's for the toilet door and then this one's for the front through and through and this one's got the same appearing so if anyone knows how to get rid of that comments comments below please let us know how to do it the next one to change is this one because this one's actually broke in there don't know if you can see that so uh, same thing we went to the same people and uh, we got a, a new a new one of these so next job is We'll take that one off and put the new one on. Now for this one the little screwdriver wasn't man enough for the job so we've had to resort to the bigger one. Yeah. So we'll take this one off. clean up if you can see that originally just all filled with mastic so we shall uh, we shall clean up the mastic from around here and uh, give it a clean up ready to put back on so there we have it all cleaned up again now and didn't like the other screws the other screws it turned out weren't stainless steel so they'd gone rusty so I've uh, been into my workshop and found a couple of stainless steel ones so there's little on here there's little grooves so you can fill just the grooves with silicon so uh, we shall put a blob around each of those not bothered about it squidging out I'd rather have a little bit too much than not enough and then slot that into there like that 
Just put like that, and then a little bit just around the outside of here again around both the grooves in the bottom piece and that should stop any water rainwater or whatever and put just a little blob in there and just a little blob in there wipe that off and then that one in there and just that that's one and that's the other put the cap back on that and then wipe off wipe off the excess like that and same thing next time Jenny gets a wash and wax we'll uh, make sure we do around here well so that it puts a layer of coat back on right moment of truth I have to pick this up now moment of truth oh yes there you go that holds yeah so uh, we'll give this give this one a bit of a clean up and uh, that'll be that so two two little another two little jobs done well here we are again someone made the comment one of our friends made the comment said Yes, we saw the one where you said, is this the most organised garage? Hmm, what's it look like now? Now you've been holidaying and everything else. So I will turn the camera around. There is our, there's the sticker wall. If you're on there, hi. It says Herman, Hills, Robin Lynn, Radford's, Grandad and Grandson. Yeah, there's our sticker wall. Now, as you know, as you know, we had to just put the, just put the light on. There you go. Okay. So this is our, we have to have this close. This is our board because that goes under the, under the dog guard. So the little girl can't escape because she has been known to. So we have our fridge water carrier at the moment at the moment that's the water because i've been filling up so that doesn't go there that goes in the other compartment now there's the steps we're ready to go away so just they're the first thing out and obviously when they're there there we go so we've got the steps in we've got the water carriers in we've got the screen cover we've got Monty's cover and the airframe for Monty. They obviously when we're travelling, they uh, they're on the back of the car, and then under there, you can see the legs. Is the so? They're the legs for it. They're the legs for it going under there, and under there, wrapped up and held in position with the cargo strap, is the solar tracker, the EcoFlow solar tracker, and then we have me racking system that we did and is the awning or the air brake rather not the awning is the air brake the Kadak or Kadak whichever and the UNE there we are we're now around the other side of Jenny and this is the uh, this is the door 
this is the door into the garage at the other side so back here we've got the table there's the solar panel held against the if I just move the waste master out so there's the solar panel and that's held against the side of the racking and then there you've got the frame so to get to that all I've got to do is take out the table the solar panels just to uh, the coats just to stop the solar panel anything tapping against the solar panel I can still get to the still get to me box with all my bits in it's got me uh, the sol bio in and the stuff we use for washing up and all that lot and then the bottom one's got me tools in bottom one's got some of my tools in and then uh, Sue's chairs at the back and my chairs on the other side so everything fits what we've got to do now if, for a future video is we'll show you taking it out and uh, putting it together see how long it takes but I think it's still going to be easier than uh, yeah I think it's still going to be easier doing it like that than going out every 10 minutes to move the solar panels around well well hope you enjoyed that found it interesting gives you an idea if you do want to change any of the latches my advice is on all the ones I've seen on this bus and other buses and coaches and what have you they're screwed in so your screw goes through the outer body goes through like the aluminium body mm -hmm. so I always suggest promote advise get some silicon sealant or some what is it ct1 ct1 yeah use, or something it? along them lines so that you put a blob in and then screw through it i always spread it on the back of whatever i'm screwing on as well so that at least it makes it waterproof because last thing you want is water getting in the hole between the outer skin and the uh, and the rest of your the rest of your coat or your bus also um stainless steel screws yes yes stainless steel screws the other ones one of the the one on the door as you saw just done in mild steel and they go rusty and then of course the heads go all manky and you can't get the screwdriver to work on not very good it's worth paying the extra for and get stainless steel ones if you want to check if they're stainless steel use a magnet if they stick to the magnet they're not stainless steel <laughs> Some go, oh yeah, these are stainless steel, and you pick them up with a magnet, you go, no, they're not. <laughs> yeah, stainless steel does not have any carbon steel in it, so it will not stick to a magnet. As always, you know what to do. Yes, the old click, ring, subscribe. Ding. Yes, ring, do ring, that, thumbs please. up, comment. Yes, and ring the bell, or at least press the bell yeah. so you get notified when we are uploading any more videos. If you have any questions about any of the gear you've seen, any questions about the EcoFlow tracker or the EcoFlow panels, put them in the comment. We'll ask you, we, you ask, we answer <laughs> if we can. Yes. If not, we find out and then we'll answer. No, you can't balance on that. Little girl. Little girl's other antler is me little girl's other antler was on my chair so she's now balancing on the chair trying to get to the other antler there you go i'm having it I'm not, i haven't decided how yet but i'm gonna get it oh i've been spotted i've been distracted that's it lost interest now <laughs> thought she could balance on the uh seat belt holder but yeah <laughs> she straddled between she straddled between the settee and the chair that's it i've turned it round so i can grab hold of it now i'm gonna i'm gonna yeah what's the betting she's gonna pick it up and then drop, drop it. it on the floor and there'll be a loud clatter mm -hmm. yes yes oh, you no, she's given up i'm not gonna sit here now and wait very I patient pretend that i'm not touching it at all no it wasn't me <laughs> <laughs> on that note see you in the next one bye for now bye